All right. So this is going to be kind of a mini tour of the control room. This is where Joshua has been helping out over the week and uh, keeping the log files and also keeping the uh, local Wi-Fi uh, circuit as busy as possible. Uh, just a quick sketch over the uh, console. So the patch bay is uh, situated here. It's where all the input and output of the studio's equipment becomes available. And then the console itself is uh, it's a pretty, pretty wide board. Although it has some interesting features, I posted about the uh, world's most expensive iPod player. You can see here that you can track on the iPod. And actually, if we swing around a little bit, the input for the iPod is right here. So I guess this is one of the most expensive iPod docking stations you'll find. You can see the console itself. We have everything marked out. So actually, this group of faders uh, right to here, uh, this group is what I use for monitoring what's going on in the uh, in the studio uh, proper. And uh, using either the NS10s, which I don't really listen to very often, but the Genelex, and then there are some larger monitors in the control room uh, for that big sound effect when the talent comes in. And then this bank, uh, from here all the way over, uh, those are the inputs that drive the Pro Tools rig. Pro Tools rig is situated right over here. Uh, so it looks very familiar. I have a rig very similar to this. Uh, Apogee converters, the uh, Digi 192s, and the word clock. And uh, underneath here is a Mac. That is not the Mac we started with. This Mac is a different one. The other one decided to die last night, and I didn't take a record of it, but there you go. Uh, assistant engineer, Jay, this is his workstation, so he's been driving the uh, Pro Tools sessions for us, and you can see his view over towards my station, which is the empty chair that you see, but I also have the same uh, monitor and keyboard set up that he has, so we both see the exact same thing as the session uh, progresses. Uh, along here is the all the different uh, processing uh, preamps and uh, compressors and limiters and uh, uh, EQs, uh, just various things that you might use in the tracking, mixing uh, scenario. Back here is the so-called uh, producers area. Uh, this is where the talent actually for this project comes back and they sit here and they just listen to uh, to the sound as it comes from the control room. So as you can see, it's a nice large uh, space. I uh, really like the uh, uh, sound in here. Uh, everything's been very well treated. Uh, and of course, it's a real treat to work on, uh, on, uh, on the Neve console itself. And there it is, a little tour of the control room at uh, phase one.